What is up guys, your boy Raven here today with another fantastic deck. Today we're gonna talk about Sentiscorch VMAX in the Vivid Voltage era. And you know, I was maining Sentiscorch uh, when he came out. Uh, locally as well, I had a nice success. I liked this deck, I did enjoy, I won many games through the qualifiers to Players Cup 2 with this deck, but then I kind of dropped the idea and now we're coming back. So let's take a look. Sentiscorch, is, I don't think you know, it needs any introductions, but uh, his main attack is of course G-Max and Deferno, which is 40 plus and this plus is 40 for each fire type energy attached to uh, of course him. Uh, it says fire type, so if you want to put heat energy, yes, it will still work. So let's take a look uh, at the whole thing right so because it's a really fun deck it's a straightforward deck that has few tech cards uh, i'm gonna say i am using older jirachi but if you want to use if you're more fan of the amazing rare jirachis because there's this huge debate old one team up or the new one um i you can use the new one right i just uh, figured you know people have still like the older versions so i'm gonna go with that um but again if you want to go with amazing rare jirachis go all the, it's all good. So let's take a look at the whole deck because it's a bit techy, but it's a really good one. So we got 20 Pokemon. That is a lot with 28 trainer cards and 12 energy. From left to right, one Crobat V, four copies of Sandy Scorch, and three copies of Sandy Scorch V Max, one Heatran GX, three Volcanions, one Eldegoss, two Dedenes, three Jirachis, one Giratina to, of course, get rid of the special energies and one Fioni. That is a lot, I know. But things that this is the best uh, deck for best of three. You can change things as you go and well it definitely shows in the gameplay portion. Two fire crystals, three Pokemon communications, four quick balls with one reset stamp. Four scoop up nets, four switches, three giant hubs, one bird keeper for the switch and the draw, two boss orders and four welders with 12 energy. That's what we have here and well you can have an argument like wouldn't it be cool to have like a pole pad? Uh, if you want, yes there is a room for a pole pad you can get rid of um, of course one switch or uh, one Pokemon communication to get that pole pad in here, but I think, you know, it was never needed, and I never needed that there. But if you think you need one, yes, of course, that is the place. Um, the deck is super simple, right? If you go second, you play with Volcanion. If you go first, you kind of kick off with Sand Scorch or with Jirachi and just work your way there. You'll see that exactly in the gameplay portion. So let's go to that and let's have some fun, shall we? Because I think, again, the deck is super fun to play and it's just you know a nice addition to what already was an established uh, top tier deck. Am I going to be doing another one with the amazing Red Rotches with a bit of different setup? Uh, yes, this week, maybe around Friday, I'm, I'm going to be doing it on Twitch where we go, uh, where I want to be testing those amazing rares. I finally pulled all of them, I think I have five now, so I will be testing those amazing rares as well and a few other ways of playing that Sand Discord with some other techs to see which one is going to be the best. So thank you guys so much and let's move on to the gameplay portion. Let's go! Like, you know, uh, 4 p.m. or like 3 p.m. right midday. So, That, that was the reason. <laughs> um, Alright, so again, we've got Raven, we've got Remo, we've got Jank, we've got Ninja Hogs. Anyone else playing today? Grichio, you're playing today? Or a Thursday, yeah. All right, Grisha, signing you up, mate. Signing you up. Of course, we're playing for uh, the Charizard V and the sleeves and the deck box. And, you know, everyone gets a code as well. Okay. Mm. Two... Switch Herf the Dene. Sad thing, I uh, just went to build ADPZ and I don't. Aww. But I don't feel like, you know, that's such a must have, you know? It's a great card, but I mean, you can live without it. 
Okay, so because I'm facing this abomination, I'm gonna go Volcanion. Oh. Okay. But wait, from yesterday's stream, I have proof that Kovac is lying to me. I have a proof. Because she was on yesterday's stream, I was like, Oh, you'll see what I've purchased you, haha, for, you know, for uh, St. Nicholas Day, you know, for Sunday. And like, right after the stream, she goes like, Yeah, um, you're not gonna be mad, because like, there's nothing, there's just, you know, only for, for Christmas. I'm like, yeah, it's good, but why you said that, you know, on stream? I was like, happy for it, and now you took my happiness. Friday evening Pokemon. Or, somewhere in the world there is a night Friday Pokemon. Also works. <laughs> I mean, he put energy here, so. So there we go. So we're doing New Zealand style today. <laughs> no, but it just has like this ring to it, you know, like that's why. It still sounds better than Shining Legends. No, Shining Fates. Yeah, Shining Fates, that's, that's the name, that's the name. <laughs> I still can't believe that's real. Oh man. Okay, so wait, actual 25th anniversary set in fall. Wait a second. Friday Night Lights. <laughs> Okay, um, oh. There you go, Grucho. Ah, oh, man, wait. <laughs> wait. The sets, uh, the set has several products listed with 25th anniversary and the placeholder names. Right, so I'm reading, I'm gonna put that here. So, not a May set. So, it's gonna be SWSH8. Huh. That's interesting. Like, I don't know, I, I still have like mixed feelings about that ref. Maybe I'm just gonna go for the new one. Because then the new one I can retreat. That's interesting that, you know, they're doing it fall. So, well, we're gonna wait. Hmm. I mean, it does make sense, because then, you know, they can do something for Japan as well. Until fall. Alright, so we got 22 minutes, 22 minutes before the tournament starts.
Okay, one, two, and let's go full bonanza on him. There we go, that's what I'm talking. Centiferno. Why? Like, I, I'm trying to understand, because, like, that first part, like, I know why, right? Like, this I know why. This I have no idea. Oh, wait, is that... Wait, 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 I think I know. Isn't there a Dusk Noir? Either shuts down items or like it does something. Right? Okay, he's not playing that one. Okay, he's just playing Grim Marking. Okay. So the different one. Then never mind. But there is a new Dust Noir, right? That either disables attacks or like it does something. I just can't really remember. I know he disables attacks. Uh, but no worries. So we really went for one of each uh, of, of the shiny, shiny products. So you gotta find a funny place for those, all, like for all those tents, you know, like a really nice display. They're insane. Man. Uh. Like, I gotta get one day to Ikea, but I'm too lazy. I buy myself a few frames. I'm not going to check. So those are the two products you're not gonna... Alright. I mean, I feel like... Because we talked with Kovac, like, we're just gonna... By my opponent? Yeah. I bought a pre-order pass on Foundry Game Room. Pre-order pass. For what? No, no, like really, for what? For what game, or like, you know, for... <laughs> I have no idea. Wait, what? Okay, wait, because that's the first time I'm, I'm hearing about something like that. Wait, for uh, all the product, it's weird. You buy it and then you put in for a pre-order. Okay, wait. So, how is this different from just a pre-ordering a product? Because wait, you're wait, wait, what? Wait, whoa, you wait. 
Because I'm, I'm trying to understand that, because it's the first time I'm hearing about it, so you purchase the right to pre-order and you may get the product or not. Okay. But wait. Wait, wait, wait. So you buy, okay, like, okay, there's a loophole, okay, that's a gift card. What, like, yeah, you know, you, sure. But you buy that. And then with that, you say what you want. And once the shipment arrives, they send email first to the people that actually have that with the list of what they wanted. You arrive, and if there's anything left from that list, you can buy before anyone else. So it's like before they're gonna put the product up front in the store for regular customers that are gonna come in. Yeah, hit me up, because now, like, I'm trying to understand that. Uh, speaking of, you know, because um, I said yesterday, I'm going to be scared that Cyberpunk is going to, like, uh, jump from the refrigerator. Uh, right now, even my grocery store has, like, Cyberpunk, you know, on it. So I'm like, nope, definitely waiting uh, mo one more year to, to get that game. Hey, Ty, hello, good morning. Right, well, so one more game of Santa Scorch I'm going to be moving to. Yeah, you can hit it in the chat, you know, because I think we're all, you know, kind of like, wait, what? So no worries, you can post in chat, but thank you so much for asking. That really means a lot that you've asked, and, you know, you're, like, really cool about it. So, yeah, so hit it here. I'm, like, really sure how this works. Because, like, here, when there's, like, pre-order, you usually either, you know, just pay up front, or there are things like that in stores where you go like, you know, there's like a steel book of a game, you buy that steel book and that's also the pre-order in it. So once the date comes, you come with uh, the receipt from that steel book or whatever, and you're like, yeah, the game should be here for me, right? Man, some stores are weird. You see, Rama, you, you gotta move here. You gotta move to Poland. Okay, pre-order pass. Okay, so that is like a way. So, buy this pre-order pass gift card store and to receive to reserve your spot to order this. That is such a BS. They said it's a huge milestone, yeah, and BSing, wow. So you pay five bucks just to be able to be on, oh man. Max one units for, of each four point, getting multiple pre-orders pass will not get you beyond it. Okay, okay, so the final, okay. So it comes down from the final price, okay. Okay, so you know what? If, if, if the price is off... Okay, I think I, I might have handled it. If you can't get there, is it a refund? Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm, not, I'm less mad now because of that. Yeah, so it's kind of like here with games, when you buy, like, you know, a steelbook, and you just gotta wait, right? And you have that sealed book in your hand, or like whatever, you know, and there, there's off of price, or like, you know, yeah, okay. All right, so you see, like, when we looked at it, I was like, okay, now, now it makes sense. Make stock available for the bulk instead of people coming in and buy, yeah. But also, I think there, there's an, another uh, reason to it, and when store is doing something like that, 
because that's kind of like from comic like taken from comic books to, to a certain degree because comic books you have to order or like pre-order three months in advance for yourself um, and you have like two week window to do that and because of that you can get it you know you get it right um, you also pay less right and the store knows how much to order so they're not gonna overstock and they're not gonna be left out with unsold product which again for hidden sh shining something shining uh, you know what I mean like shining fates shining masters shining fates I hate that name um I d don't think that would be a problem you know them not selling it but who knows so it's going Ryan hello good morning how are we doing today mate how's it going Ryan So you know what? Yeah, like for that, okay. Just so the store does not overstock, yeah. Ah, uh, peanuts. Uh, yeah, so Rama is doing uh, Rama is doing Milka, uh, Milkario deck, or Zashin ADP deck, and he doesn't have Mobile IRL. That's that. So yeah, so shot, now I understand, right? Like now, now, now I understand the whole, th and I see the bigger picture <laughs> of all of that. <laughs> but that's true, like, you know, being able to get that DNA from someone, you know, or a few things, yeah. Alright, so after this game we're starting the tournament. If someone wants to join, that is going to be the last, last moment. Come on. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm gonna bring back that energy, but... There goes Heatran. So somewhere there is my Giratina as well. I only have two Zashans so we put in a Stunfisk V. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about the Stunfisk V. Ragoff. Yeah, that's true. It's better. better uh, then we can always, you know, if you really want to be tech, you can go with Fioni. 
to switch someone uh, your opponent's uh, active. But yeah, better this than nothing, that's true. Alright, so Max Jammer. I really dislike that attack, but... Oh well. At least I have a knockout, so... Really well there. I kind of forgot, you know, how <clears throat> fun it is to play Santa's Court. You just go like, bam, bam, bam. But I'm still a bit torn um, in between the two Jirachis. Yeah, that's true. He is fun, but I am really torn. Again, I'm doing that because I don't want to count. Because on one hand, Stellar Wish, you know, it's five, but you can't see, like, you can't take every, and, you know, you can't really retreat after. Amazing rare. Two cards, but you can take one, and you can, you know, retreat uh, with U-turn board. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Torn in between. In between the two. So, is there anyone else that wants to join? Because we got Raven, Rema, Junkie, Ninja. And there you have it, right? Santa Scorch V Max. Um, I think it's a great, to, you know, for him to be back. And I hope you're gonna enjoy that deck. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that and more decks. Of course, we build and play uh, those decks uh, on twitchtv slash slash Link down there below. And also down there below, five percent discount on any code you would purchase on Professor Oak, which is really good. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. Good night. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Take care. Revan loves ya. Bye. <laughs> Stay safe.